Good morning, ladies. Hi, Dr. Melody here with Fit Plus Faith. Good morning. I haven't seen you for almost a week now. <laughs> I have been out of town um, at an incredible uh, business conference and retreat in Colorado. Just got back yesterday. And so here we are headed into our next devotion. We've missed a few days, but we are continuing to work our way through our Rooted in Christ Devo. We are on day 38 today. Rooted in Christ, 72 days of growing in your identity in Christ. So we're on day 38. Good morning, ladies. I'm sorry I'm a few minutes late getting caught up this morning, <laughs> getting back into a regular routine, but I'm so happy to be here with you. And day 38 of our Rooted in Christ Devo. So as you're hopping on, definitely go ahead and comment down below. Say hi. Let us know where you're coming in from. That's what we want to do. What's up, Angela? Coming in from Alabama. So good to see you. Good morning, man. I have had an incredible time. And while I was away on Monday, I was at this amazing business uh, retreat and it was my birthday at the same time. So I've had an incredible time being away, but I'm so happy to be back here with you and ready to continue to move forward in our journey on Monday, Wednesday, Fridays at 8.30 a.m. Pacific time as we work our way through our Rooted in Christ Devo. Hey, Elizabeth, so good to see you from Alabama as well. So good to see you. So I've got exciting things that I'm going to be sharing as well from my time um, in Colorado, and I'll probably do that later this week. So stay tuned because there's awesome things coming that are just incredible and they're going to help you in your health. And um, it's just amazing and wonderful things. So I cannot wait to share that with you. Awesome. Corinne and Tina, great to see you coming in from Southern California. And yeah, thank you so much, Angela. So today we are going through an incredible little passage in the book of Philippians about we can do all things through Christ, not on our own, but through Christ. So that's, that's our declaration for today. So speak your declaration out loud, repeat after me right now, and type it in the comments below. Here we go. You're going to put your name in it. All right. I insert your name, Melody can do all things through Christ Jesus. I, Melody, can do all things through Christ Jesus. It is important that in our declarations, we are speaking out and we are putting our name and making it personal to us. So it's not just I can do all things, it's I, Melody, can do all things, but not on my own strength, I can do it through Christ. That is what is amazing. He is the one that empowers you and makes the way for you and leads you into doing all things in his name and in his strength. That is how powerful he is. And that is a part of our identity that gives us assurance, that gives us security, that gives us hope and promise. It's a beautiful thing. So go ahead and start typing those below. I insert your name. Melody can do all things through Christ Jesus. And then we're going to dive in to Philippians chapter four. We actually went through Philippians um, a few verses lower, verses 19 and 20, a few devotions ago. And if you have not caught all of our devotions so far, right today, we're on day 38. If you've missed anything, then here on the Fit Plus Faith page, there's a playlist for all of the replays. So head into that. If you're ever needing a pick me up, if you're like, God, lead me and speak to my heart. I don't know where to start. Go back to our devos here. <laughs> we have all 37 of the previous ones here on the Fit Plus Faith page in the videos playlist. Okay. Yes, Angela, yes, Elizabeth, you can do all things through Christ Jesus, amen. So let's pray real quick, and then we are going to dive in to God's word a little bit more. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this day. Thank you so much for safe travels, for keeping me safe and everyone else who is gathering in your name <laughs> this past week. We thank you and praise you for community. We thank you for safety and protection. We thank you for the body of Christ, that we are never alone, that through you we are connected on such a deep and soul level. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for the women that are in that community right now, that are in the body of Christ, connecting here online through this Devo, through the replays, through the podcast, through the Facebook group. We thank you, God, of all the ways that you're bringing your people together, that we are not alone, that we can lift each other up, that we are here to lean on you and point each other back to you. You are the one with all the answers. You are the one with all the strength. Thank you, God. 
We thank you and praise you this morning that it is through you that we can do all things because you are the way maker. <laughs> you are the miracle worker. We thank you and praise you, God. We thank you, Jesus, for what you have done. We ask, Holy Spirit, that you speak to me and through me in this message. Speak to our hearts with exactly what we need to hear about your strength. Thank you, God. We give this time to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, so good. Elizabeth has this verse written on your bathroom mirror. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. I know, honestly, I don't know how you feel about tattoos one way or another. I have a few of them, but I've thought about getting this verse, you know, maybe tattooed somewhere, somewhere. It's so good. It's such a good reminder. We need this reminder because our culture, it's so countercultural. Our culture is the one that says you can do it. It's up to you. It's all on you. Nothing's going to happen unless you do it. So it's all this pressure. It's all this stress. And it's just so opposite of what God says. God says, you can't do it. I am God and you are not. You can't do it, but through me, you can. You cannot do it as a mere human, but through me, you can, right? I love what a friend said this weekend. God puts the super on our natural. He puts the super on our natural. God is the one to do supernatural things and he does it through us. It's beautiful. It's incredible what he's chosen to do and how he's chosen to partner with his creation that he doesn't have to do. It's so good, right? Give God some praise this morning. <laughs> Give him some praise this morning. Type in the comments your praise and your gratitude and your adoration for who God is and what he has done. Use the power of your mouth to speak that out. Sing his praises. Man, he is so good. For you are good and your mercy endureth forever. God, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. People from every nation and tongue, from generation to generation, we worship you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we worship you for who you are, because you are good, right? Sing to the Lord, so good, he is so good. Wow. Amen, Corinne. God puts the super on your natural. Amen. So this morning, we're diving into Philippians chapter 4, verses 12 and 13. So if you've got your good book, go ahead and go there with me right now. Philippians chapter 4. It's a short book, the book of Philippians, but it is power packed. That's for sure. Philippians chapter 4. There's only four chapters in the whole thing. Verses 12 and 13. Here we go. Philippians 4, 12 and 13. I know what it is to be in need. I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation. Whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in, not, in want, I can do everything through him who gives me strength. Paul is saying, it doesn't matter my situation. It doesn't matter my circumstance. I can do everything, all things, through him who gives me strength. Man, what are you trying to do? What are you trying to do to give yourself more strength, to do it on your own? Where are you trying to strive? Where are you trying to trick or coerce or manipulate to give yourself more strength to do something on your own? You're working in futility God doesn't want us to work. It's like in, I believe it's in Psalms. It might be in Proverbs, so I don't want to say it wrong. But it talks about the laborer in the field toiling in vain. He says, that is the one who does not rest in me. 
It is like you're laboring in the field and toiling in vain. You will not have the outcome you are working towards. But he says, come to me and rest. Come to me and I will give you the strength. Is this a message for anyone else but me? I'm about to cry over here. I will give you the strength. Rest in me. Don't toil in your own strength, trying to do whatever you can to give yourself more strength. It will be in vain. You do have a limit. <laughs> We as humans do have a limit, but guess who doesn't? No limits on God, no cap to his strength. So he says, seek me, come to me, rest in me. I am the one that will give you the strength to do what needs to be done. But it is so that I can then get the glory for working in your life. Not so that you get the glory of saying, I'm super mom in my own capacity, but so that he gets the glory for giving you the strength, for giving you the rest and the recuperation and the ideas and the provision and the supernatural influence that will help you do what needs to be done. Man, it's so different. It's so different of a way of operating. It's so different from what our culture tells us. Our culture leads us to burnout and that's not that's not God's way. That can be a challenging lesson. That can be a challenging thing to walk through and to make change. But would you do that today? Would you try that approach today? Would you finally stop being like the laborer working in the field in vain with no result for his hard work? because we as humans have a limit, but we have a limitless God that says, come to me, rest in me. I will give you strength. Your circumstance doesn't matter. I will give you strength. I can do all things through him who gives me strength. Powerful, powerful. Whew. Yes, Angela says, praising him for keeping you safe from COVID. Amen. Corinne says, Tina says, I'm just like my mom with the impromptu singing. I know, I can't help it. I can't help it. My name is Melody and I've got to sing. It is what it is, right? Elizabeth, thank you for sharing. She says, I struggle with depression. Sometimes it's hard to get up and bathe or unload the dishwasher or be a mom. Yes but God is bigger than my depression. Amen, girl. Amen. Amen. Wow. Thank you, ladies, for sharing. Whew. Let me get over my little moment of crying there. Praising the Lord. What is the Lord speaking to your heart in this? What is he speaking to your heart? If you're declaring today in your declaration that I put your name in there, Melody, can do all things through Christ. Where are you trying to do all things through you? Where may you be contradicting the declaration of your true identity in Christ? Your identity is that he is your strength, that he is your provision, that he has the answers you're seeking. But man, we can get caught in self-sufficiency and me, me, me. What can I do? What can this do for me? How can I make it happen on my own? And that will lead you to burnout. 
That is not God's way. We are here in this devotion series to learn our true identity and where our power truly lies. Our power does not lie with us. Our power lies with Christ in us. Our power lies with the mind of Christ given to us by the Holy Spirit. Our power lies in seeking the one who has unlimited power, who has unlimited capacity and strength. We operate differently from the world on purpose. So your life is a living testimony of what God is doing, not what you can do on your own. Man, it's so different. I know it's different. And it's challenging to switch your mode of operation. But that's what God is calling us to. Step into rest. Step into growing in your relationship with him growing in knowing who you are and what he is and how he is so different from us, but that he says, I have this for you. I have it for you. Come seek me for it. Let me show you that I am who you can never be. Let me show you that I am unchanging and I am who my word says I am. What a beautiful message. What a beautiful calling, a beckoning. Yeah, so good. Wow, ladies, I know this is intense. I know this was like two short, super quick verses, but it is intense. <laughs> but that is God's word for us this morning, that challenge to us to sit back and to evaluate where am I trying to work and toil and do and be in my own strength when I can never fully do all those things. But I know the one who can help me. I know the one who supplies my need, who gives me strength when I am weak, who gives me peace amidst the storm, who is my way maker, who opens the doors. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Yes, Corinne, letting nothing distract us from our purpose in him. Amen. It is seeking him, seeking him in your purpose. Yeah. So good. Wow, ladies. Thank you for being here with me this morning. I still want to hear from you. I still want to hear what are your, what are your thoughts? What is God stirring in your heart with this message today? But I know it can be challenging. So sit with it if you need to. Sit with it if you need to. Allow it to keep marinating. Allow the Holy Spirit to be working in your heart with the areas that he's bringing up to you right now. But if you have not yet put your declaration below, then go ahead and do that right now. So repeat after me out loud and type it down below. I, insert your name, speak with authority and power. I, Melody, can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. I changed that a little bit. But it says, I can do all things through Christ Jesus. I can do all things through him. I need to understand. I need to declare that I can do all things, not in my own might, not in my own strength. I can do it through him. That is the difference. That is what we must acknowledge. That is our declaration today. So speak it out, type it down below. Let your words bring life and power to you. This is the power of, of our tongue. This is the power of what God has given us in our voice, that we speak life and truth over ourselves and over others. We have the power of life and death in our tongue. How are you using it today? Use your tongue to declare God's truth over you today, that you can do all things through him, through him. He wants to empower you. He wants to lead you. He wants to guide you. But you must seek him and you must acknowledge where true power comes from. And it's not from just you. You are limited. He is not. You have a capacity limit. He does not. You can do all things through Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for being here with me this morning. So 
Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Now that I'm back from being out of town, I have so much more to share with you about this incredible retreat that I've been on and this incredible business launch that I've been blessed to be a part of over the past year. And so I'm going to be sharing that with you later this week. So stay tuned and I'll see you on Friday for day 39 at 8 30 AM Pacific time. As we continue in our 72 day journey of growing in our identity in Christ. If you don't yet have your own devotional and journal to dive deeper into this, to have your declarations and to journal it out, your process of growing, your process of transforming and becoming who God says you truly are, then get yours at rootedinchristbook.com, rootedinchristbook.com. And then you can, that'll take you right to the Amazon listing. All right. If you do have your devotional and journal and you haven't yet left us an Amazon review, please do so. We would love to keep racking up those beautiful reviews to encourage others to be taking this journey of growing in knowing the most important thing you could ever know is who you've been created to be, who your true power comes from, your identity in Christ. So help others to do that by you sharing this Devo and you writing us a review on Amazon. So thank you so much. I love you all. I'll see you Friday, 8.30 a.m. Pacific time. See you then. Bye, guys.